Hello, I'm John Cree and I'm a director for the Forest School Association and I've been involved with Forest School for many years now. And I'd like to just spend the next couple of minutes telling you about Forest School and giving you a flavour of what it's like. It's very hard to pin down because it's not until you experience it that you really get what it is. So hopefully I can paint you a picture with a few elements that will give you a feeling for what Forest School is about. So I'd like to start with just a little story about something that happened to me quite a few years ago. I was visiting a forest school in Redditch and the forest school practitioner there, she always started her sessions off with a little bit of quiet time. Now her forest school was in the school grounds which had a small wooded area um, and this was with a group of four and five year olds and uh, after they'd had the introductions and I'd been introduced to everybody this little lad, he grabbed me, he was about four, or over four, uh, by the hand and he, he said, John, I want to show you my bee tree. And I said, oh great, has it got bees in it? And he said, no, stupid, like four-year-olds sometimes do. And he grabbed me by the hand and he took me over to his tree and he sat me down on one side of the tree and he went round the other side of the tree. And we were sat there in silence, just tuning in to that part of the season and that day getting ready for forest school and um, after a few seconds he said can you feel it I said what the tree and he said yes so I sat there my back against the tree my hands feeling up against the tree and I just felt it and I said yeah it's like a big old grandfather isn't it, it feels all safe and lovely and he went mmm and after a few more seconds he said I love coming to this tree I said, oh, really? And he said, yeah, the tree tells me things and I tell it stories and then I sit and listen to it and I hear all the birds and it's like they're telling me their stories and they're full of treasure. And my heart, it just melted at that point. And I smiled and we sat there a bit longer just listening to the birds and being with that tree and I said so what about the bees then and the bee tree he said oh stupid again <laughs> and he said this is the place where I can be me where I can be and I can just feel really comfy and I can feel the whole world he said and my heart melted again <laughs> well for me that really sums up what Forest School is all about. It's about feeling uh, as though you've some worth in the community and that's just, that's both the human community and the natural community. Uh, and it's about being able to express that and feel something that's bigger than self. And that four year old was certainly expressing himself to a complete stranger. So, what I'd like to do is just paint a few picture, a, a, a picture of, of a few elements of Forest School. Um, you could refer to the six principles that are on the Forest School Association website, but I'm just going to pick out a few key features. And it is about integrating everything. And that moment really showed me an integral part of what Forest School is trying to achieve. So the first thing is, it's about that regular long-term contact with the natural world in a place with trees. After all, it's called Forest School. Because trees provide all sorts of good spaces for learning and we have a very special connection with trees. Um, so it's going out regularly and feeling the seasons and the rhythms and of life and being understanding how the natural world works and how that's part and parcel of our lives. Um, and what that does for us is it helps boost our health and well-being and what teachers have found is it just gives them that space and time to be able to relax, tune in, pay more attention and actually be more attentive to our own learning. And it means we can relate to the natural world on a much better way by getting to know it through the seasons. So some settings will go out half a day a week, some groups will go out a day a week, some will go out more often. And we now have a lot of outdoor nurseries who spend all the time outside. 
Um, and this is with any groups. This is from sort of four-year-olds, three, four-year-olds, right up to 54-year-olds, if you like. This is learning for everybody. So that's one key part, that regular um, contact with the natural world. And then, uh, secondly, it's very much a learner-centered approach to learning. So it's creating a whole learning community where everybody has equal stake. And that includes educators as well as learners but it's the learners going with their motivations and interests and the practitioners and facilitators, educators, whatever you like to call them, are helping scaffold that and impart some of their own wisdom and learning, particularly about the natural world and the opportunities it provides for play and also for deep learning. Um, so that's a really important part of it, this learner-centered process. And then thirdly, it's very much about a, a so almost skills-based curriculum. So it might be the skill of being able to just be still out in the natural world and being able to express yourself through writing. Often we find that communication and language skills and the writing skills are greatly improved by forest school. It may be mathematical skills. It may be to do with uh, spatial awareness, using... Um, your mathematical skills to build things, to make fire. Fire is a really important part of this and that involves all sorts of science as well as maths in terms of looking at sizes of materials you need to use and how a fire works. And often what comes out of that is the more creative stuff, things like cooking. And then uh, forest school is often associated with hand tools. Hand tools are really important for your body movement and in turn that uh, helps aid brain development. And I've seen all sorts of things made. What that does is it creates uh, a platform for people really realising their own creativity. Anything from carving a spoon or something right the way through to building. I've seen a, a train built. Um, I've seen um, chairs made. All sorts of things. In fact, only earlier uh, this year, there was a group that really got into a play. They were looking at a school and they wanted to do a puppet performance in this play. So out in Forest School, they made a load of puppets and they had this performance. But that was entirely on their terms and them going with this. So lots and lots of opportunities for deep learning through that skill development. And the last element for me that I want to pick out really is this whole idea of working in a community together collaboratively, co collaboratively and realising your own place in that um, and caring for each other but also really importantly caring for the natural world. That could be anything from monitoring the place you're learning in regularly, listening to when the first migrants come in and when they go out, those birds looking at things like tree planting, creating habitat, um, as well as caring for each other. And that, for me, is a really important part of Forest School. So that's Forest School in a nutshell, um, which gives you a taster. But what I suggest you do is really experience it. If you've never experienced it, go and visit a Forest School near you. There are thousands now, all over the UK, all over the world. Uh, and there will be one near you. So if you're interested and you want to know more, go and experience it. Find out where your local forest school is and get to know it and see that really joyful, deep learning that connects us all to the natural world.